All right, today I'm going to talk about building your own APM. For the last 12 months, constantly I've been hearing about people talking about the pain of running Datadog and sort of the costs associated with it. So at last nine, we built tools for solving software reliability, and this is a common concern that a lot of customers come and talk to us about. Uh, and in that context, I thought it would be fun to talk about what would it look like to leverage some of the existing tools that we already have in our systems and be able to leverage that to build something like an APM. Uh, we all deal with Kubernetes, uh, so change is a constant in that context. Uh, number of microservices or subsystems is constantly growing across the company, and the number of times we deploy them uh, is at least more than five times a week. And the dependencies, like earlier, I think Justin was also talking, in terms of the supply chain and just everything and internal and external dependencies is only exploding with at least three internal or probably more. Uh, it's almost like a web within our production system itself. It's almost similar to the internet where there are so many dependencies. And when thinking about monitoring or observability in this context, uh, it's always interesting how we sort of dissect it. Uh, we talk a lot about, let's say, melt. Right? Metrics, events, logs, and traces. But to take a step back from that, I think about them slightly as these two systems that we need to think about. One, a radar system, essentially something that's low latency, a real time. You want to be able to observe it in a way that talks about the system as it is right now, uh, more than how it behaved in the past, to be able to respond to it extremely quickly. All incident management and response essentially has to deal with being able to recover quickly rather than go and solve the problem critically in that context. It is very similar to a radar system, uh, which lends itself really well to being able to use metrics because their low latency can be stored efficiently and queried quickly uh, along with the alerting nature of it. Uh, a lot of logs and traces essentially then lend themselves amazingly well to being able to debug what's happening with the system, classically like a black box. Right? and how we sort of treat those systems as. It's not that it's not important in that point in time. Even if the latent availability of that data or out of order is absolutely OK, but not so much with real-time systems as a radar would. Uh, and I realized while looking for images for a black box, turns out black boxes actually are not black boxes, but they are actually quite fluorescent in color uh, to make sure that they're actually found <laughs> when something goes wrong. Uh, and are recoverable. So that's something uh, was very interesting to know about. Uh, anyways, a typical journey, what I've seen consistently talking to so many people, and I'm sure you guys resonate with this, is the fact that we all start with something like a CloudWatch. Basic, gets the job done. Uh, but soon, with applications being deployed or serverless architecture, you go and sort of look at some application monitoring. Because our stack typically looks like a burger is what I talk about. There are two patties where essentially off-the-shelf components like a load balancer or a database is something that we are using off the shelf. But application is where the patty is for each business, where we are essentially writing our own code to make sure it gets written in a way that we, is special to us or to pro the processes we are automating or the uh, services that we are offering. And in that context, uh, we go on from, let's say, using CloudWatch to then developers also using something like a data dog or a new relic. Uh, costs grow up, uh, other challenges start rising, uh, and then the platform teams decide, you know what, we could very well run this on a Prometheus. And then you have Prometheus as well, where you start moving infrastructure metrics, and then suddenly you have three systems, but all being visualized through a Grafana, because that's a unifying visualization layer that brings it all together. And more often than not, this disparate nature of it uh, leads to a lot of challenges, right? There's telemetry upkeep, there's lack of control in terms of instrumentation, uh, standardization across dashboards or alert fatigue because alerts now are being thrown through across three different systems rather than just one, uh, which means this constant pain in terms of being able to make sure that the toil reduces rather than being able to act on it. Uh, and yes, cost definitely keeps coming back to being able to maintain these disparate systems and then justify the cost that we're spending against it. Uh, so, what would a typical system to be able to solve for this in-house look like, right? Uh, yes, there is the melt stack and other things, but what if we could sort of leverage Prometheus in a way to be able to use our application data, in fact, to be able to look at that application metrics and do some level of APM, which would mean we could use our existing deployments of Prometheus 
or Victoria Matrix or similar high cardinality stores uh, to be able to leverage some of this data. It would help solve a lot of challenges, right? But Prometheus compatibility, uh, the only thing missing consistently I see across this landscape is the agent libraries that allow you to instrument this off the shelf uh, in a way that would allow you to leverage this and then make sure you can standardize the alerting, standardize dashboards on Grafana. Uh, because the whole power of a closed system like a data dog or a neural like in that context would be the fact that across these frameworks, uh, dashboard alerting and the user experience is amazingly well done. And being able to replicate that becomes quite a big challenge. Uh, but what would it look like essentially from a dissection of being able to actually leverage something like this? I think from an anatomy of a monitoring system, uh, there are several stages. Yes, begins with instrumentation, uh, but there's also ingestion controls, uh, whether handling cardinality or shaping and sort of load balancing and other aspects around it, uh, or pre-aggregations, or even streaming aggregations for that matter. Uh, or something like storage with different data formats, being able to optimize on that, uh, and then deciding on a query language. So whether you're taking any stack for these signals, there are these components involved. If you look at trace, then you have, would have something like a tempo, uh, a trace 12 for query language, uh, an alerting mechanism on top of it, and then ingestion controls as well. So across stack, you would end up having these five different components to leverage, uh, to make and use them. In an existing system like ours, for now being able to do this APM, uh, we could leverage these existing stuff that we have in our infrastructure uh, across storage, query language, again, alerting and visualization. Visualization could come through Grafana because we already have that running. Alerting could be an alert manager or Grafana alerting. Uh, query language like PromQL and storage, again, uh, a Prometheus. Uh, what would this look like? Uh, we'll go into this, but before specifically in this context, uh, if you go and sort of check this project out, it's called Open APM uh, Node.js. Uh, it is being done one for Node.js. There are several other variations of this also available, where it is a drop-in replacement where you could just go and say uh, require Express and then use the red middleware. Red essentially being rate errors and durations. And being able to use that middleware means it's actually intercepting all requests that are coming to the Node.js application uh, and is able to emit those metrics in a way that are leveraged. Uh, that allows you to sort of standardize that experience. Uh, and if I go and sort of show you that quickly, this is leveraging the standard uh, open instrumentation, open telemetry data to be able to leverage and build this out. Uh, and in a way, also capture database queries to a MySQL to intercept that and emit it as metrics across uh, a database. So at the end, you could not just have uh, standard error metrics being available, along with throughput, error rates, and the AppDeck score, but you would also have the latency and other metrics come through and be visible in this context. Uh, in addition, the database queries that I was talking about, where intercepting MySQL queries or other Postgres queries uh, through that middleware, you'd be able to track and make sure that even Prometheus are, is able to load those queries through a PromQL interface. Uh, this is a working demo of that. Absolutely, uh, I would request to go to this. Uh, just install it through NPM, and you should be able to try this out. Uh, in addition to doing all of this, uh, it's key to be able to add certain other elements of this from an events to metrics correlation perspective, uh, tracking application deployments, application lifecycle events. This is a work in progress for that open library, which will instrument it to be able to showcase that data and then emit it, uh, and should be available soon. It is available across these uh, frameworks today, across Node.js and Ruby, uh, and we continue to build it for all other use cases in the context of frameworks that can emit it to existing Prometheus uh, instances. Uh, that's pretty much, I'm happy to take questions and sort of answer anything in that regard that would help clarify this. Thank you. Any question? Uh, yeah. 
So <laughs> I think I'm still a little confused on what Open APM does. Like, is it like a wrapper around like the Open Telemetry, like uh, Node.js SDK, and like does it auto instrument the metrics, or like do you still have to like initialize it, like uh, you do for Prometheus? No, you don't have to. So it's an auto, it's a layer on top of Open Telemetry. You're right, which is specific for Node.js to make sure that the application data and the metrics are emitted uh, with default Grafana templates as dashboards to make sure that they can just work off the box uh, in a standardized way like your typical APM experience would. Mm, okay, cool. Done. Any more questions? Okay, then thank you so much. All right, thank you. And